Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again with another modded character and this time we are going to go as... I don't know which one we're going to go as. We've got quite a lot of choice here. We could go as a tinted character, I guess. I don't know which ones actually have tinted variants because like this one here might not be tinted, but it might. I don't, I don't know. Uh, also Steven as well, I'm not sure. Um, weirdly, apparently they are locked, but I'm, I'm sure that I set the code to unlock them. So I'll try and do that in a moment. But either way, um, I will go as, I don't know, let's do, just, just do Steven for now. Steven's an interesting one. Let's give him a go. Um, and yeah, I'll try and fix that now. One second. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how to unlock them, but yeah, this character, pretty interesting stuff. We get a little Steven baby here, and I think we can, oh, I did not mean to place that bomb. I think we can swap places with him, but I don't remember how. <laughs> this guy has pretty decent damage off the bat. We get, um, Kane style stats, we do not, we unfortunately do not have um, the ability to have a lot of fire rate at the moment. We do have a bit of herming as you can see, so that's kind of nice. Oh lord, this is kind of rough. This guy's interesting, but I am going to pause after this and see what I do to teleport, because I know you can teleport with this guy. You can like swap places with your, uh, your familiar. One second. Okay, I figured it out. It's control. So we can swap places, which means we can get stuff over gaps. We can also do some telefracking damage with that as well. Vergo here is pretty decent. We'll take it. I don't know if we can use it to get into the cash room for free like we can with... Um... I'm going it, to... It's risky to try it out. I'm not going to try it on this much health. I'll try it later. I'm not going to try it on this much health. But what I can do actually in some rooms is I can go like this and then just easily swap between... Yeah, it, it, it's going to be pretty useful in smaller rooms and fighting bosses and stuff. Because like I said, we can telefrag with it. But it is it is definitely also a little bit risky. It's a little bit different, a little bit wacky. Ah, that was phenomenally stupid. I forgot that that guy produced fires, so I just kind of thought I could telefrag him. But not really the best way of making it work for us, is it? Not really the best way of making that work for us. God damn it. Bunch of poops. We like that. We like that. I like the little bow we've got on our head as well as little Steven here. It's cute. Steven being a little cutie. Oh, Lord. This game's mean at the moment. This game's really mean. <laughs> let, let everyone die, please. Don't get me involved. <laughs> okay. Right. I would have liked to have gotten a soul heart or something on this floor, but unfortunately, we do not get so lucky. Unfortunately, enemies in the middle of the room... Cannot be telefragged. That didn't really, really work the way I was hoping it would. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to be telefragging here or, or, or if I'm going to end up killing myself by doing so. It seems to do good damage though. I don't know if there's a cooldown on it either. It might not be. Okay, that's that, that's that's pretty wicked the amount of damage I can deal to it at the early game. I just gotta be really careful at doing so. Squeezy makes my life a little better. Good, good. Fire rate definitely increased uh, by a good bit. I'll come and do some of the rest of these rooms here. As I said, we are trying to uh, min max here. So, see, like that, that didn't it didn't hit him, but it, it kind of should have done, right? Oh, you fuck! I need I need something like Midas Touch. It's gonna give me some contact damage because yeah, it's gonna be hard to fully utilize again on regular enemies if I don't. Either way, let's, let, let's for now, let's just go. I don't want to waste my HP on the cast door if it doesn't end up working. But just remember, the things that are over, are over gaps, we have ways of getting them. We have ways and means of getting them. We've got a new curse coming down to this floor. I'm not quite sure what curse this is. Curse of the Magician. Interesting. So, this is, this is something else that I'm a little intrigued by. So, in, in the settings here, so, I was unable to unlock the, the tainted characters using the thing, but you can, you can do like this to, um, to enable and set which curses are enabled, but I swear, if I go up, yeah, Curse the Magician is one of the ones I disabled. So, I don't really know why Curse the Magician is popping up. Basically, there's a lot of curses this mod adds, and there's some of them that I don't particularly like the idea of, Curse the Magician is one of them, it just makes it so enemies have a chance to fire herming shots. I think in certain rooms that could cause some real issues. Um, so I, I decided to disable that, but for some reason it's it's not disabled. I, I don't I don't exactly know how to uh, 
how to properly disable it. Like, like this, look. This, these enemies shouldn't have herming, and it makes them way, way, way more difficult. Also, it's a 30% chance to, uh, to fire a herming shot. I have to admit, I feel like this has been far, 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 far higher than 30% thus far. But yeah, I don't exactly know what's happening, because basically it just says, if you enter... If you enter it like this, it... Uh, let's go back to it now. Um, curse... Oh, where the hell is it? Curse Magician. You type it in, but it doesn't say if it's locked or what, like, disabled or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see if I can work that out after this. Um, I might have to just type in disable on it. I might have just typed it in a little bit wrong. Uh, but yeah, there's a few curses that I definitely want to have disabled. There's some really interesting ones, but there is also some, some kind of brutal ones in there too. Um... One of them, like, has a chance to make it so that your item room item becomes a Lemmigitten Wisp rather than a real item. Don't like the idea of that either. <laughs> um, but I suppose if, as long as you're given the, the ability for people to ch pick and choose what they have enabled and disabled, it's always fun to, like, try new things. Um, and then people can just get, kind of leave it up to their own discretion which ones they use. The Herming's weird on this character. It's like a really light Herming. Can I get that bomb? Or is that, like, too difficult to... I don't think I, I can get that bomb, unfortunately. With it being, like, dead center of the middle of the room, I don't think there's any way that I can grab it. We can grab... The Naga Viper. We like that. We like that. Good, good. Right, let's keep moving. Yeah, I didn't see any of the other curses uh, on the other run, I don't think. I don't know why it's started now. Ooh... That's good, although we don't have a second bomb. I would love a second bomb in this scenario. Um, I mean, if we bomb this... Oh, bugger, I can't bomb it. Damn it, this game's annoying me. <laughs> I just want bombs, please. I just want bombs, but there's two, there's two different bombs in two different locations that I'm unable to grab with Steven because I don't have a bomb. <laughs> that just frustrates me. Also, get out the middle of the room so I can Steven you. Haha, <laughs> that worked pretty well. I wasn't expecting it to work that well, but it worked pretty well. Beautiful stuff. Okay, let's get another fire rate up and maybe a HP up again. I'd be down for that. Just give me Squeezy again, please. Fire rate allows us to pretty much keep this guy up there. There's a fire rate, at least. Good fire rate right there. We like it. We like it. Okay, let's keep it going. Yeah, I'll try and sort that out in a moment. In fact, let me pause here. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. It just doesn't. It doesn't seem to give me a message saying it's enabled or disabled. So I have absolutely no idea if it's working or not. I don't know. Someone that's used this mod before, or someone that's more knowledgeable than I, please let me know because I would like to disable that, um, and I would also like to have the tainted characters and stuff unlocked. But it doesn't seem to be working for me right now, so I'm kind of just stuck with what I've got. But yeah, Steven's a pretty pretty regular modded character. There's nothing crazy going on with him, but he's interesting. I mean, consider we've got triple pills here, I'll take it. A health up there is rather nice. I'm liking the fact that we've got this Naga fire thing going on to be able to fire explosives. Oh my lord. These enemies are the fucking worst, and there's so many of them. There's so many of them, holy shit. <laughs> this room's vanilla as well. You get out of there, you. Good, good, good. Right. Chaos? Oh, I... I'd like to say chaos, but I just got filigree feather. Like I can't be, I can't be doing that. I'm gonna take away the temptation and take buddy in a box because I just got filigree feather. Ooh, that's a pretty goddamn good item for later down the line if we get some money. We do need a bomb for filigree feather, which uh, at the minute we do not have. A little bit sad about that. Also, our health is pretty dire right now as well. I don't know, just playing new modded characters is always going to be a difficulty for me. I'm always going to have some struggles. 
Is this little ghost? Yeah, the little ghost can put himself inside those tiny fucking spiders, can't he? Oh, dude, this teleporting thing's annoying me because there's loads of places I can't get to with it that I was hoping I'd be able to. I can't get across gaps. It's only behind rocks. It's certain arrangements I can get, but if it's symmetrical, I'm, I'm screwed. Hey, there's a bomb, finally. Oh, God. These spiders are going to cause issues. Thank you, Steven, for doing some of the Lord's work. Right, I'm going to gamble here and hope I don't die. Very much do not like the idea of this room. He is uh, creating quite a quite a hefty bunch of poison creep for us to see and dodge. <laughs> Can you finally walk in some explosions, please, good sir? There you go. Baller bandages, not exactly what we were looking for, but hey her. Right, I think I just want to go here. I don't ever want to stick around, but I really should be doing some extra rooms to try and get some more HP though, shouldn't I? Oh, this is this is a tricky run. I mean, honestly, at this point, take the half heart just so we don't die. It's not a good trade, but it at least keeps us alive. Oh, really? Use my invincibility to grab both of these. Good, good. I, I kind of forgot that with Virgo, all my pills are good, so I should be taking as, as many pills as I see. Pella pills. Beautiful. Yeah, I kind of forgot about Virgo. Virgo is very good. It's one of those items that just, it's kind of unassuming that it would have the pill effect that it has. It doesn't sort of make as much sense as you'd think, so I end up kind of forgetting all the time. Got plenty of bombs to work with now. Can you not, good sir? Oh my god, he fired directly at me. When do they ever do that? When do they ever do that? Okay. We can't even get in there because we don't have the health right now. God damn this game. We do not, we do not like this. We do not like this. Okay. Oh my lord, the, with the goddamn herming game, with the goddamn herming. Okay. Oh my lord as well. A heart. Thank you muchly. See, I'm glad I came back this way now. Glad I came back this way. I'm not really using Steven too much for telefragging, but uh, it is a little difficult to do safely, and I do not have a lot of HP to do it with, so I'm, I'm trying to be a bit safe. Also, I have Soul Heart there. Lovely stuff. Unfortunately, we didn't get any real money here, so I was kind of hoping we'd rack up some money so we can use Magic Fingers to get, it out, get us out of some sticky situations, but that has not been the case yet. A soul heart, at least. That's something nice. I think today I'm going to play some Red Dead Redemption. Try and get into that game a little more. I'm really bad at getting, like, sort of invested into single player games, but when I do, I really enjoy them. But I, I, I always find it, like, hard to sort of commit the time to do it. So I'm going to try today to actually play a good bit of it and get invested. I hope to enjoy myself because I know that game is something unbelievable. And I, I've got a friend that's played it, like, literally, like, 15 times over, and he fucking loves it, so I really ought to give it a better, uh, a better shot. Right, just some extra pennies for the next floor, and we will be on our way. I will quickly check this, though, because I'm pretty sure that's secret room. Thank you. Just a battery. How dare you? It's weird how secret rooms like that sometimes are like, fuck's sake, that's nothing, that's worthless. And other times, you could, like, really be needing an extra charge. And that'd be like the perfect secret room to grab. Right. Ooh, we got a, a scythe wielding baby, although the scythes do not pierce, which is slightly strange to see. But we do have a scythe wielding fear hitting little baby here. 
a wee little child. Hello, my father. Do you have special dialogue for me? Back for more. Good luck, Stephen. But before you go, say hi to Stephen for me. <laughs> That's cool. It's Stephen on Stephen. It's all sorts of Stevens. Stephen Stevens. I think our Naga Viper is like the best thing we have going for us right now. It's uh, it's pretty incredible at dealing some good damage. Unfortunately, I think this guy is going to be a nuisance. But if we can set up some Naga Fires, I don't know if it's uh, luck based, how many fires we spew out or just random chance. But I, I'd love to fire out more because it seems super inconsistent sometimes how many we fire out. Like there you go, we've got two back to back there. More bombs is good. We are at the minute holding on to our angel deal chance. 67% chance is decent, so I'm, I'm holding on to that tightly. Really, that killed one. Are you kidding me? Could have killed all of them. Yeah, I, I always like having Buddy in a box. I think Buddy in a box was a great idea for an item, because there were so many corp babies that basically never got seen, especially when true corp was added. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Why not? Fortunately, we ended up getting a boss that's not exactly the most ideal for us, but it shouldn't be too bad, especially if we get some Naga Fires on him. Yeah, there you go. Shouldn't have too hard of a time hitting the Naga Fires. There is creep on the floor here, so be aware of that. Yeah, the Naga Fires are basically hit no matter what, weren't they? Yeah, good, good. They always reach the back wall. I oh, God! I was like, I don't know what he's about to do here. It was indeed Brimstone, I just wasn't ready for it. Oh, the fire dipped out before he uh, thingied, and he hit me for a full heart. Okay, thank God, at least he repented. Lovely stuff. That was actually a really, really good little boss fight there. Thank you for that. Uh, we got a crane game. I don't know what the hell's in the crane game there. That's very, very hard to tell. Very, very hard to tell indeed. I think next we need another fire rate up. Another fire rate up would go a long way here. So our damage is decent at the moment. We have plus 10 range right now as well, which is... I don't really know where we got all that from. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't know where it came from. I like these little poop enemies as well. The poop flies. I mean, all flies are kind of poop flies, really, but... Well, the vast majority of them, at least, what I, should I say. And in here... Rocket in a jar. It, it's not very good, but at least it's not fucking broken like it used to be. At least now you actually have to be firing for it to fire a rocket. Before it was just infuriating. Hurt myself with it constantly, but at least it's okay now. And we can do some cool boss damage with it. Oh god, the slippy almost got me there. The slippy almost got me. Beautiful. More pills, remember, they're going to be good. Health up. Or... And shot speed. Beautiful stuff. That was... <laughs> I tried. I tried doing the telefragging. It's just not easy. You need items to kind of go along with it to make it sort of viable. Telescope lens is pretty good, but... I think what we have right now is better. We've been to the item room. Shop I'm not that interested in right now, so I think I'm just going to beeline it for the boss. Get away from me, good sirs. Get away from me. And it's cube, boys. Cube Mageddon. Boom. Bow. Okay. Boss time. Ooh, it's Pink Bat this time. Good old Pink Bat. I love that these champions have their own boss, uh, their own boss bars as well. Ooh, you have Herming? I didn't know you had Herming. But I have the Naga Viper. You only spawn small bats by the looks of it. Oh no, you do spawn big bats as well. I was wa I was waiting for it, it just didn't happen. Right, angel deal please. No angel deal still. Wow. GMO corn is good. It actually put us into the uh, boss trap room without us needing to uh, wear my way in, so that was kind of nice. We've got a lot of HP ups here. A lot of HP ups. We like that. 
Yeah, that was a uh, pretty weird, and I'm a bit, bit annoyed that we still goddamn don't have an angel deal. We got filigree feather, and we're now two floors deep of potential angel deal without getting it. It's bloody annoying, especially with a 67% chance. You'd think uh, that would have gone a little more in our favor. But free boss room access and the all the effects of GMO corn. Can't say I'm displeased at all. That was that was very very nice to get there. Uh, we're going the wrong way here. Can't say I'm displeased at all. That was very very nice to get. Now we've just got to fill up these red hearts. I mean, I think Virgo has actually been the most powerful item for us thus far. We've got a hell of a lot of value out of Virgo so far. We've got like four HP ups just off of Virgo. <laughs> right, pick those up. Okay. Come on, filigree feather. Come on, angel deal. Give us something beautiful. Give us what we need. This is a streak after all. But yes, please, someone... Uh, take a look at the Eclipsed mod and see if you can figure out how the goddamn console commands work, because I'm not able to do them the way that I should be able to, and I don't know, I I, I, like, I just don't know if there's no confirm message, or I, I just, I have no idea. I am perplexed. Is all, I am perplexed. That was kind of close. I think Ball of Bandages actually saved me from that there. Again, pills are good here, so we'll, uh, we'll go through. We got worship. Worship's always a, a, a difficult one. Two hearts of damage is a lot, but if you have got a lot of soul hearts, it's fine. But right now, it's a little risky because we don't really. Oh, dude, come on. Good old tears up. Yeah, our tears have reached a, a level of being pretty, pretty normal now. They're not super low anymore. Also, money's looking much better. We can start using magic skin on occasion for smaller enemies, as I just did. Especially when you get a penny back as a reward for the room. We have spent actually nothing. Right. We got a 100% angel deal chance this time around, so as long as we don't get hit on red hearts, there's no fucking around. Um, I'm pretty sure secret room's here. No? Okay. It looked sussy. Stuff. Hey, that's that's a nice usage of this. Oh wait, apparently that was an enemy. I am very confused what I just got hit by. Still confused. This thing here, this bag, apparently I took damage to it. I don't really know why. It doesn't look like an enemy to me, it's not moving. Not great. We can grab this, though. That's nice. Okay. A little bit worried about losing my angel deal again here. A little bit worried. I'm especially worried that I'm going to end up Naga Vipering myself at some point. Feels likely that it'll happen. Okay, the shot speed that we've got is, is quite good as well right now. Just a troll bomb. Dude! Fuck you! Why did it jump like that? Oh, you gross little gremlin weirder. Fuck you. I mean, this room's kind of fucked anyways. Very annoyed, though. And I uh, took damage to some creep there, I think. Oh, man. I'm... Very upset right now. Very upset. If I don't get an angel deal here, I'm gonna cry. Um... Vega's been good for us, but this seems interesting. I wanna go for it. I think I, think I have used it before and it was good. Sadly, nothing there for us. Oh man, if I don't get an angel deal here, I will writhe in unimaginable pain. Just two of these rooms in a row, okay. Yeah. Come on. 
I fucking hate this game, man. Fuck sake, I don't have a soul heart to protect it from the next floor either, so I'm probably going to lose it on this floor too. What's the point in having filigree feather if all the game does is punish me? Why must I be punished, sir? Why, game? Um, no. I don't think I want to play with any of you guys. Okay, we do have a godhead little fella chilling with us, which is kind of nice. Okay, what, what we got here? We got jumpies? Jumpies. Not that hard of a room. Oh, Toxic Shock. Very nice. That makes me feel a bit better, but I still want an angel deal this floor. And you watch, I'll get some of the turdiest turd items you've ever seen, won't I? When I actually do get an angel deal eventually. But this this will help. Enemies will be much, much weaker off the bat. And we're just dealing poison damage as well, which is nice. Still want to try out the care room thing, but I've still not really found a good time to do it. Still have a feeling it probably won't work. Dude, we're getting many a tainted treasure right now. Many a tainted treasure. What is it this time? Five bombs. If a shooting, pl if shooting, placed bombs turn into movable crosshairs that launch a missile with a delay. That sounds awful. I'm gonna say, uh. A big merry fucking no to that idea. I will, however, see if I can get a soul heart here. That's not a fucking soul heart game. However, it is the book of a lie, which I think at this point I'm gonna take. Maybe the extra damage will be very nice for the boss fights. I just want to not blow myself up with a Naga Chili, which I feel like I'm going to do very shortly. What are we getting here? Uh, we're getting plus 20 cent. Uh, wound 1 would get two boss items. That might be better. It's not really worth it right now, is it? It's not really worth it. Get away with your brimstones, boys. It's fun to find two, uh, like, double tainted treasure rooms like that, though. It's not, it's not common. I see ya, I see ya. It's kind of our last shop there, though, so this money's pretty useless afterwards, but that's why I didn't want the extra 20 cent, because the money's pretty useless afterwards. Oh, the tea is down now. God damn it, Virgo. Where are you? Right. We just gotta not get hit. Naga Chili is the most likely thing to hit me here. I would say. Don't like the fact that the rocks have respawned in these locations here, because, yeah, spiked rocks are aplenty. Okay, we got an angel deal, finally. Immaculate Conception, pretty bad. Filigree feather. Oh, I hate that fucking stupid angle there where it's misaligned. Okay, I'll uh, I I I'll say that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Right, let's go. <laughs> I'll say that's fine. Just a bit of godhead. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's just not get hit too much and we should be smooth sailing here. We should be smooth sailing. Probably grab that key actually for the good old chests. Ah, oh, it's bloody curse of the maze, isn't it? Don't know where I'm going anymore, but I found the key. Good, good. Kind of forgot I had that. Oh, you can still eat it though. I didn't realize you could eat it if it was a rocket. 
But I'm just gonna smash you in the face. Nice. Oh. Oh, hello. If only bombing them had some sort of value, rather than just giving you. Because the bombing them did used to give you stuff, but they changed it. And now they just give two spiders. Every time, just two spiders. Oh, the Skull X boys. But yeah, Godhead is, is, is rinsing fools right now. Especially with the Herming on top of it. Which we already had, but... <laughs> hey, we've got extra Herming now. Oh, I didn't realise that creep would damage us. Okay, I also didn't realise it was still fucking there. Okay, that was... That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad by me. I took some really dumb damage there. It's okay. The health will come back to us. You know it will. You know it will. Right. Through here. I do not like the idea of this at all. First of all, let's kill you. What, like, how am I... Do you know what? No. I was going to say, how am I getting through this? I'm not. I'm just going to fucking bomb it. I can't be asked. It's too much effort for me. Good, good. Okay, luckily, this was the right way to the boss. That makes my life easier. Okay, didn't know they would adopt our tear effects. That makes this uh, this this saw blade thing quite fucking good. <laughs> I did not realise it would adopt our tear effects. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's something rather spicy right there. That's something rather spicy. We like it. More health, please. I buy more health. I did not mean a fucking big old troll bomb. Also, nice to have our book for the extra damage as well when we need it. Easy. Easy. Oh, more keys. I would like more keys, thank you. Skull X is there again. Yeah, keys are coming hot and fast right now, so that's no problem at all. I just want to make sure we go straight to the boss, please, game. That would make my day. It would. I love how fucking huge our uh, tears are for uh, from Tropic of Maya. Getting the bloody Godhead aura to be huge. Rather nice. There's some hearts. Lovely. Don't really need the extra pennies now. We look to be going the right way, but you never can really know. Okay, luckily we fired a bomb at that guy right, just at the right time there. The Naga Viper always wins. Hello, Mr. Brain. But yeah, I think first of all on the streak, we should be trying out all the modded characters that we have here. We've got the Devil card as well here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> that's pretty nuts. Of course we ended up getting a devil deal rather than an angel deal. Why fucking wouldn't we? Yeah, I don't think we want any of that. Bit of a shame. Oh, where we go. Right, should be okay for the rest of the floor here. I mean, bosses especially. Bosses we have in the bag. As we've just proven. Oh, that was a very bad hit. But luckily the game repented for its sins. Oh, hello. Uh, do you know what? I mean, I will pay into you at least. I don't think I'm going to play my guy here, but... We got a bag of trash. Not what I was expecting to get from him. I don't know I don't know if many mods actually add to the uh, beggar's pools, really. Because you don't see many modded items from the beggar's, do you? That must be kind of unique. Right. Just got to keep going and hope we're going the right way. This doesn't seem like the right way, but I'll try it, yep. I don't know why I went this way. I really didn't feel like it was going to be the right way at all. This way, however, speaks to me. As I told you. I'm always usually reasonably good at navigating the, um, 
the the end game flaws. It's always the womb that catches me out. I, mean, I feel like it's the same for literally everyone. Good. We are almost there. It's all the herming, goddammit. It's crazy. Be a little careful. I'm ready to saw blade the hell out of Isaac here. It's gonna be fun. Ooh. My uh, bag of trash gave me breakfast. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Right, Isaac. Are you ready? Are you ready to be ultimately rumbled? I don't know if you are, but it's happening. I just love that when with Herming, they just all stick to him. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, there was an Eternal Heart there that I missed. It's okay. It was hidden under the saw blades. Well, that's good. That's potentially bad, but also good. Oh, we got a decent worm drinker. That's fine. This is better now, I think. It was broken for a little while, but... I didn't mean to fire that then. It's my bad. Oops. I did not mean to fire that. Repentance Plus is causing errors. Oh no. Yeah, all the rooms now are just kind of defeating themselves, so that's nice. Oh, we got a saw blade back. Lovely. Look at our tears go. Why are they all red now? I'm guessing that's from the item we got. Yeah, everything's getting annihilated. Didn't seem like this run was going to end up like this, but Godhead changed a few things, baby. It changed a few things. Our Godhead auras do now pulsate, which is interesting. Unfortunately, wrong way here. Damn, this all seemed like the right way, but it was not. We do have Spelunker's hat, so we can kind of see which way, which way we should be going. I should be paying more attention to that. Kind of forgot we had that. The best part about Spelunker's hat now. Toxic Shock being the absolute goat there. Yeah, we're definitely going the right way this way. Ow. Don't matter. I, you're just giving me more saw blades. More fuel for the fire, baby. Oh my god, the chain reaction. My little dude is giving me uh, giving me pennies on hit. Oh, come on. Don't be a dick. Just chill out. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Quickly check this out. Dude, it's, it's always him on this floor. It's always him. Yeah. Shouldn't be too hard of a kill. Oh, god damn it. Ooh. Wasn't expecting an item. Unfortunately, it's a bad one. Hey, here's our boss. Good, good, good. How did you not eat that? How are you not eating those bombs? What the hell? I fired ACG missiles at you. Right. Let us go. Bit of a half. Right, we go boom. We go boom. And we just absolutely rip shit. I don't know how long these saw blades last. They lasted a while before, so... I imagine we're fine. He seems to be fading now. Maybe? No? Well, that was easy peasy. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. A weird run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.